of the great occasions in Irish sport. So many people are able to get tickets, so disappointed not to be here to watch Mark O'Connor and Al Cahalan against the might of Derry. The 104th All-Ireland final is underway. Don Davis getting well away from Fergal McCusker. Been allowed the opportunity to set up the attacks. The initiative has been seized early on by Cork and it's still coming into the breach. Is it going on here for Cork? And he gets it! Barry Coffey trying to hold up his progress. Dermatini. Damien Barton now, looking for a daily score to settle down his team. It's Johnny McGrath. He can do it against Gavin now. He's done it against Cork. So, Anthony Tohill coming out to hit this one. He's had a last, great last 12 months, really. Becoming more assertive as a midfielder. Also a very useful play. Sticker, as he illustrates there. Damien Cassidy going back to recover possession. Trying to go by Nal Cahalan. Avoiding the block. Hit in, inviting him. Marco Conner was sure it's a goal. And the referee says it's a valid goal. Volley the taker, in towards the goal scorer, Seamus Downey, brother of the team captain, now Johnny McGurk. Toho, steadying himself, beating the attempted block by Teddy McCarthy, and he's put the ball high and he's put it over. That's a wonderful point, a second point by Anthony Toho. Colin Corkery, the other corner forward, has moved out to take this free, which uh, effectively is a 45, into the wind. It's a big kick, and he's put it over the bar. A second point by Colin Corkery. Fergal McCusker now. Ball in over the head of Mark O'Connor. Seamus Downey racing for possession. He's got players to aim at. One of them is Joe Brawley. Brawley going by Brian Corcoran. That's been a successful ploy so far. Joe Brawley kicking it over the bar. The first of the day for Crawley. It's half time. Ender Gormley scored four points in that first half. Cork took a commanding lead in the opening seven minutes with a Joe Cavan a goal after five. Seamus Downey's goal after 15. Gormley one of the Derry heroes from the first half. And so at half time, it's Derry who lead by three points. Derry 1 9, Cork 1 6. Referee trying to make sure that everybody is inside the 45 metre line there, not by any manner of means, but he's not going to hold up the game any longer. And what Derry should do is put Spullion and Parkery inside and bring Ferdinand McCusker out on, on John O'Briscoe. That's exactly what they've done. Just as we talk, and the ball has gone in and gone over the bar from Colin Corkery. The contest at midfield, won by Cork, Don Davis. Gary Coleman just to moving away from him. With a chip inside. John O'Driscoll coming in. He scored! John O'Driscoll puts Cork back in front. That's Seamus Downey. Or Dermot Heaney rather. Heaney and Downey looking so alike. It's Heaney outside to Gormley. Gormley looking for the score. And it's the equaliser for Derry. But time now ebbing away. Eight minutes to go. Gormley. McGurk on his left boot and he's put it over the bar. Well, Johnny McGurk is the extra man, and, and there's only three players in the Derry half of the field, and Johnny McGurk should get back there and cover off because Derry, if they don't give away a goal, will win the game. This is important. It's gone over the bar. Gormley with a six point. Three points from Freeze for Ender Gormley. There'll be a big invasion by Derry men if Cork failed to get a goal here. It's a tall order. In it goes. Comes out to Ender Gormley. Derry lift the siege and Derry are the champions. Derry win the All Ireland final of 1993. Sam Maguire is going north for a third successive year. Peter Quinn makes the presentation and it's Henry Downey who takes Sam back to Derry. Oh, Sammy boy, they'll sing tonight.
as I was saying, it's a very popular victory. It really will be. Cork bitterly disappointed, no doubt, but they'll be the first knowing their sporting nature and say to Derry, well done.